Hello, and welcome to the last segment of lesson five. And in this particular lesson, we're gonna use the adjusting the perspective of an image tool. Um, and uh, what we're gonna use is, is perspective warp, meaning that you see this particular train, it looks like it is flying through the sky. It looks like one of those Harry Potter trains, and we are going to ground it to this track. So let's go ahead and find our perspective warp tool, not the puppet warp. We'll use that in a different, in a different chapter. We're gonna use the perspective warp. And basically it's telling you the steps that are required to use a perspective warp tool. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and this is going to be the perspective of my train. Look at that. I'm gonna say this train is rolling. There we go. And now I'm also gonna add a front perspective for the front of this train. Notice how I overlap the points and there is my front of my train. I'm gonna line that up to the front of the train. I'm, I'm picking the horizontal line to line up my image. Now I'm going to warp this particular train. Let's see how I'm gonna get this done. And right now I'm just gonna click on this point, notice the point that I select and I'm just dragging it to the bottom, see that? select the point I'm going to be working with and drag that. Let me stretch it out as well. Let me straighten it out so it doesn't look like a drunk train. There we go. Let me see if that looks right. I don't want to use the automatic straighten, automatic level. I don't want to use any of the add warp horizontal and vertical. I don't need to use any of that because I selected the points and I just went ahead and did it manually. Notice what can be done with the train. I'm right now playing with the front of the train. I'm just exaggerating it so you guys can see what some some of the features of this particular train can be. What can happen? And I think I'm pretty good. Let me see how it looks. That's the layout, that's the warp. So let's go ahead and click accept and see, well, this train looks pretty much on track to me. Looks like it's gonna be rolling. Zoom in a little closer. Yep, it certainly is no longer derailed. That is that simple to use this particular tool, which is your perspective tool, which is under the edit menu and perspective warp. Hope that helped. Let me know what you think in the comments and um, have a good one.